So the Raspberry Pi Foundation designed this little board here, the Raspberry Pi, to address a lost generation of computer programmers and hardware engineers. So this little board here is low cost, it's easily accessible, it's very simple to use. When you power it up, you get a nice little desktop environment. It includes all of the things that you need to do to get starting to learn programming. There's lots of information out there on the internet that you can take away and start programming code in to make things happen. The great thing about these boards as well is in addition to software, you can play with hardware. So these little general purpose pins here allow access to the processor and you can hang off little hardware projects that you build and you can control via the code you're writing through the software application. So this is a great tool for kids to learn how computers work at a grassroots level. So there are two versions available of the Raspberry Pi currently. This is the Model B. This is the first one that came out. And this is pretty much like any other computer. It plugs into your television. It has a keyboard and a mouse input here. You can connect it to the internet and it runs an operating system off the SD card here. The Model A which has come along more recently, it's pretty much the same as the Model B, but it's removed some of the functionality, so there is no connection hardwired to the internet, and they've removed the uh, device that controls that as well. So it's a slightly cheaper board, and it's much lower power. So if you wanted to do some handheld applications or battery powered, for example, it's a much better solution to go for. It was originally intended to go for children, and what happened was is that this got a massive following from a wider base of people kind of the hobbyists and the hackers if you like out there what they've done is they adopted it very quickly because of the price the accessibility the fact it's fully featured and you can do lots with it so from a very basic level if you're a child in your bedroom and you want to learn just basic computer programming or you want to turn it into a media center where you can play videos and audio or if you want to take it to the next level and you're a DIY tech guy, for example, you might want to replace some electronics around the house that was broken, you might want to control your heating timer, you could dial into it from the internet, you could control your heating, your lights, you could make a home automation control box from this. And not only has it been adopted by the um, hobbyist space, but also from a commercial world, people are actually adopting this to put into their finished applications. So you might decide that you want to put it into uh, an industrial control product. As I say, the hard work is already done. You just need to hang off a few peripherals from this, stick it into a box, and you've got your product. Okay, so when you get your Raspberry Pi, it comes in a nice little box like this. Well, open it up here, and uh, here it is. So. This is what you get, and you need a few things to get it going. So let's start by connecting up the USB keyboard and mouse. We have our HDMI cable here for connection to our television. We have the power, and we have our SD card, and that goes in the back. That's what holds the operating system. So the operating system we've got in here, they're, they're Linux-based operating systems and they're a Raspberry, Raspbian, which is a, a distribution of Debian. You need a few accessories to get it running. If you haven't got those lying around the house, then you can buy those from RS or Allied. And once you're in, you can do anything you can do on a regular computer. You can do documents, uh, web processing, etc. And that's a great little platform for children to start learning computer programming as well with the built-in packages that come with it. You can connect it to the internet. There is a Pi store that's already loaded onto the Raspberry Pi itself, and that gives you access to lots of applications. And you can pull those down for free, at no extra cost.